and I'm a candidate for uh, State Representative District 73, which includes Lawrence, a little bit of Green, and a lot of Independents. Uh, some people say, why are you running? i got six grandkids at the house, and I'm kind of concerned about where they're going to be when they get my age. I think we're going to need somebody down there. And I want to tell you all up front, I hold an inborn fondness for the first responders and firemen because my dad might not be here if it wasn't for them at Lincoln. Randy might have been there, I don't know, that night they took him to the hospital. But uh, it's very important to me. Mr. Adams, we, uh, we have uh, six questions here. Mm -hmm. No one knows all the answers, and we understand that. It's not putting you on any kind of a spot or ambassador. Uh, this question came from the group uh, previously. It will be the same questions we asked uh, the last candidate. Uh, one at a time. First one is, what is the process of filing for grant money through the Arkansas legislature? Okay. If you're going to, then you guys are going to file for a grant. First of all, the... Uh, Legislature, when they meet down there, them guys, is the, whoever your legislator is, he needs to earmark you some money for in the GFI bill, General Improvement Fund, and they send that, if they get it passed, and get it in category A, B, or C, if they can get it in category A, they can get it funded. They send that over to the Rural Services Department, Bush Calhoun, and then you guys can apply for it through either uh, the... Uh, Whichever, there's about three different grants. There's a 50-50 grant, there's a 90-10 grant, then there's one that's $50,000, I believe, that's uh, just non-matching. It's for fire department, for your trucks and your houses, and anything you need, basically, for fire equipment. Okay. Second question is what state department is in charge of the grants, and who is the director? Okay. Butch Calhoun is the director of rural services, and uh, there's a commission on there, I think there's 10, I'm not sure, 10 or 12 members on that commission. Now, and one of them's here, Dale's on one of the commissions. I, I don't know all the rest of them, but uh, there's nine commissioners and they they help divvy up the money. And your senator works real well and it's got to be involved with this also. Okay, sir. Third question is who determines who gets what grants? Okay, uh, the Grants, when they get sent in, you got to make all your deadlines, get all your letters written and all that. You've got to have a letter from the state representative, a letter from the senator. Uh, then you got to meet your deadline. If it's got matching money, you got to send in what you're going to match and all that. Then it goes before the commission down there, those nine members, and Bush Calhoun and his crew. And he's got three ladies that work for him. Uh, one of them's in charge of the fair grants, one of them's far grants, and the other one, I think she's just the overall of it but they make a determination. Okay, sir. Fourth question. Who determines how much money is granted to filing departments? Uh, the commission would determine that on your grant, but if your state representative and your senator don't put any money in there for you, for your district, you're not going to get any money. You know, they've got to supply the money in through the, the grants. And if you get put in there and it gets in Category C, you're not going to get it. <coughs> They're not going to fund it. Only category A gets funding, and then B a little bit, and then after that, it's, it's downhill. They don't know about getting money there. So definitely a good working relationship with your local departments. Is a oh, good yes. Asset. Yes. The local people, is, and they've got to, you know, they've got to come up with a pretty good grant, too. I mean, you, you know, you can't just, they've got to come up with a good grant there. Okay, sir. Thank you. Number five, what are your duties of you if elected as a representative in the grant process in our county? Okay, we might have just answered that. I right, we may have. You want to go over it again? Or? Just, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, 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 I spoke too soon. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, and the last, if elected as representative, <coughs> how can your position affect our local communities and loan or ISO for the insurance services office rating? Okay. If you get elected and you don't help the fire departments and the ISO ratings go up on, say, Walnut Ridge goes to a five, everybody's insurance is going to go up probably about 20%. So we need to keep our ISO ratings low. I think Walnut Ridge is fixing to drop to a three. Uh, M Bowden's a four, and I'm not sure what Blackrock is. Seven. Seven. Uh, if we don't keep those ISO ratings low, we're not going to have fire departments because people are going to be have to leave the country. We can't afford it. Mr. Ellis, appreciate it. Right. Uh, Maybe talk to you soon.